Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to a figure review. It's been ages since we've done a figure review, so I'm really looking forward to this. Um, but before we do that, I have to say a massive thank you, a big shout out to, wow, well, it's going to be very difficult to read the name. Uh, I think it's like Chargery Dash Up Dash Jokery. It's probably easier if I show you. Um, that's the name because uh, he sent across to me, look at this, a UK championship belt for the figures. It's absolutely awesome. It's even got a bit of Velcro on so you can like put it round the figure like that. And look, it seals and attaches and everything. It's absolutely brilliant. I think that's, and it's done really well. So, like, I'm really into this. Uh, so, we'll have to give that to, who should we give it to? We haven't got a Tyler Bate figure. Maybe we give it to, like, Neville? Or British Bulldog, of course! <laughs> Makes perfect sense. I'm going to give this to Davey Boy Smith, the British Bulldog. Um, so, yeah, absolutely awesome. I just wanted to... Take a second there to say thank you very, very much because I really appreciate that. Really cool. Right, I've got Battle Pack Series 34 of the Legion of Doom. This is, or these are, my, my favourite tag team of all time. No one even comes close. The Legion of Doom are, they're the greatest tag team. You know, they wrestled, right? from, I think it was like 1983, all the way up to like 2005 or something like that. Like they went for like 20 odd years. They wrestled in like 14 different promotions. I think they held like 20 different championships. Like just, they're legends. They are absolute legends. And when I went to wrestling shop the first time, I saw this battle pack and I knew I needed it straight away. Um, interestingly, right, what's really interesting about this is that it just says Animal and Hawk on the side. It doesn't say Legion of Doom, but also it doesn't say the Road Warriors because that's probably what they're better known as, as the Road Warriors. Um, they were only known as the Legion of Doom in WWE, WWF. Now, this attire, I'm not 100% on this, but I know this isn't an attire that they wore in WWF at the time. Uh, this is uh, WCW, I believe, right? Uh, so, I certainly remember seeing them wearing this in WCW. I'm not sure if they wore it, like, when they were in AWA and all those other promotions. We're obviously going to open that and have a look at that. But... Uh, this is the look that I know them for, the red uh, attire. So there, this is uh, Elite Series 30. So they did them as two elites. And you've got Animal here, and you've got Hawk there. And uh, actually, you know, it's got a little bit of information on the back, and it looks like it's different information. Um, before we get to that, let's have a look at the other ones in the series. So. Batista, Ryback, Brock Lesnar, obviously Animal, who we've just looked at, and Lex Luger, uh, which is really cool. Now, I'm really excited for this figure review because this is my favourite tag team of all time, so I'm just excited for that. But uh, we've got two elites to have a look at, and we're going to open up and look at the battle pack, and then we're going to compare them as well. Now, these are basics, and these are elites, um, but how awesome is that, right? That the battle pack that's basics still comes with the shoulder pads. I think that's huge. Like, honestly, I don't really know the difference between the elites and the basics other than the articulation, other than the fact that this will move a little bit more. I suppose you've got what looks like kind of forearm guards, if you can see, on there, uh, which the battle pack doesn't have, but that's only a very small detail. So on the back of this one, right, it says, dominating tag team competition for nearly 20 years as part of the Road Warriors. Hawk, along with his partner Animal, was a favorite in the WWE universe. 
known for ending his interviews with the trademark Oh, what a rush! Oh man, I love this tag team. Uh, the pair first teamed up in 1983, I told you. Um, <laughs> and their devastating doomsday device finishing move. Uh, Hawk would clothesline an already weakened opponent that was sat on animals' shoulders um, and they immediately captivated fans worldwide. They dominated wherever they went, the AWA, the NWA and the WWE. They won the Tag Team Championships at SummerSlam 1991 and they returned to the WWE five years later and then they won the World Tag Team Championships again. Uh, so, as I said, you know, they're one of the greatest tag teams of all time. Um, on this one, this is quite interesting, because as I said, it's different information. So, when Paul Ellerin put two competitors from his stable together in the early 1980s, few had any idea that Animal and his partner Hawk, the Legion of Doom, would dominate tag team competition for much of the next two years. Decades, and that's really interesting because obviously Paul Ellerin is the manager of Authors of Pain down in NXT at the moment. And really, Paul Ellerin is, I would say, best known for you know his the work that he did with these two with the Road Warriors or Legion of Doom as they were known in the WWE. Um, so it's, oh, it's so cool. It's sadly Hawk passed away in 2003, uh, an animal teamed with. Uh, Heidenreich uh, winning uh, the tag team titles in 2005 uh, and dedicating that victory uh, to Hawk. So that's that's I mean that's enough talking about them. I could sit here and talk about them for much much longer. But uh, yeah, you if you've got the network, check out the Legion of Doom or check out the Road Warriors. They they were so cool coming down with the spikes. We, we, I mean, we could probably do a video in the future where, like, we try and make the the spikes. If we, you know, it's so cool. Obviously, we'll make them not dangerous. Um, I had, I think I had some, actually. WWE used to make them, and the spikes were made out of foam. Uh, it was really cool. Um, so, if I, if I find a picture for that, I will put a picture up for that. Uh, so, yes, anyway, that's enough talking. Let's leave the elites for now and let's concentrate, first of all, on the Battle Pack. So, this was Battle Pack Series 34, and the other ones in this series was Lana and Rusev, and also you got Hornswoggle and El Torito. That was like the Wii LC pack, which was really cool. Uh, so, let's get this open um, and have a look at the figures. I'm so excited for this. These these are my first Legion of Doom figures. Like, the shoulder things come off. That is the... that. I mean, look at that for an accessory. That is an awesome accessory, and certainly for a battle pack. Uh, so, you've got that. Uh, they came down with face paints, and there you can see Hawk, and he's got like the hair kind of shaved off right down the middle, uh, which is so cool. This isn't ring attire that I'm familiar with. Um, it's just got like a design either side, um, and he looks maybe, well, definitely more muscular than I remember him. I don't remember him being that kind of jacked, uh, but I think the face scan is absolutely awesome like brilliant facial hair on there the hair types really cool love love this as an accessory so we've got uh hawk and it'll be interesting to compare him to the elite hawk and then here's animal animal was always for me the powerhouse he was bigger uh than uh than hawk and so oh it's a bit more difficult to take his top off but there, because he's got a ponytail, you see, at the back. And he's got, a, maybe, like, you could say his face paint is a little bit more elaborate. And he's, I'd say his hair's more elaborate as well. Um, you know, it's it's he was just the powerhouse. Uh, his attire is obviously the same, because they're a tag team. And he obviously comes with an exact same shoulder pad thing. I honestly think this is one of the best battle packs that you can get because I just think the accessories 
I mean, they're, they're such an important team and the accessories are bang on. So I suppose there could be an argument that that's the Legion of Doom and this is the Road Warriors um, because there's nothing on here that says Legion of Doom. So, you know, it could be that that's a Road Warriors set and then that is... Legion of Doom, because that does have Legion of Doom written on the attire. This is so... I mean, like, if I'm, if I'm coming across like I'm freaking out, it's because I am freaking out. This is my favourite tag team. Now, let's get open Elite Series 30, uh, and we'll see how these Elites compare to the Battle Pack set. Right, here we go, guys. Here are <laughs> the Legion of Doom uh, figures, and they are so, uh, they're just so cool. Um, I think the thing that strikes me is that there's not a massive difference between this and the Battle Pack. So if you've got the Battle Pack, you really have got a fantastic set, um, but there is more detail on the ring attire, and you also get these kind of like wrist guards, uh, which you don't get on the Battle Pack set. This as well is in the red, which is the colour I know the, the Legion of Doom for. Um, and as I said, you know, there's a bit more in, like detail. Uh, you've got uh, like the black uh, lace kind of, uh, or buckles or whatever on the boots. You don't get that on the battle pack. It's just literally black boots. Um, and as I said, you know, the ring attire is not as exciting. Um, whereas with this... Oh dear, he's fallen over. We've got uh, we've got red and black, and we've got Legion of Doom written on the front. I mean, that one is uh, obviously like blue, uh, whereas this one is more yellow. That's like blue and red, and that one's yellow and red, like face paint wise. And uh, it, it just doesn't matter. They're both the same. They're both the same height. They're the same figure. Uh, it's just that this one's got a little more articulation. This one will bend in the. In the middle, it's got that that hinge there. You see on the on the body, it will do that. Um, so it means that you can maybe perform a few more moves if you play with your figures, or you might be able to display it a certain way. Uh, whereas this one doesn't have that look. It's just a solid body piece. So I know that I've talked for quite a long time, um, but I'm sure you understand that these figures are quite important to me because this this is this is the legion of doom this is the the road warriors these are for me the greatest tag team of all time for most people they they probably remember the legion of doom in red so it's a shame that they've only done the blue battle pack uh, i mean i would have been all right actually with the battle pack without any of that and you literally just have the battle pack, say, with them two figures as basics and then a couple of, like, tag team belts. Um, it's a shame that Mattel haven't done that for people um, because it's been a while. I mean, you, this is said, this is Series 30. We're up to, like, Elite Series 50 now. So it's been a long time since these have been out. Um, they could definitely, you know, have a look at that again uh, and see if they could do something with it. But I'm not going to mark him down for that reason. I think as a battle pack, that is a Ty Dillinger. You really are getting fantastic accessories and the most important tag team of all time. And then as elites, you could argue that, you know, you... I mean, should they have been two elites? I don't know. It's really, it's really tough. I mean, if they've done that in blue be no problem to do it again in red and then just charge a battle pack price. So I'm not sure these needed to be elites. I'm pleased that they were. I like the extra articulation. I like the, the wrist guards and I don't think you would have got that. So I'm pleased they did it, but I'm going to give these, I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them strong nines. Both of them exactly the same strong nines awesome guys thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did let me know give it a like leave a comment below uh do, do you like the legion of doom or the road warriors uh or do you think there's better tag teams out there do you have these figures do you want these figures 
let me know in the comments below. Um, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe. I really would appreciate that. So from me, Hawk, Animal, Animal, Hawk, hopefully we'll see you again next time. Bye for now. I've never, I don't think I've ever tried to wave with like four figures. It's like really difficult to do. One's gone. It's, it's oh, I'm leaving as well. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching. And don't forget, jump over to Wrestling Shop because you can save yourself some money. Use the discount code DAZE, D-A-Z-E, and you will get 10% off your order they've got loads of Mattel figures play sets pop vinyls clothing they've got everything so check them out awesome guys thanks a lot for watching and hopefully i see you again next time bye for now